Hey, what is going on guys? Now, I was originally gonna go ride my jet-powered snowboard, but finally on the day when all the parts arrived, it's like 50 degrees out, and it rained. So yeah, didn't want to leave you guys without a video, so I've got a few really cool battery life hacks that I think you guys are really gonna like. Let's check them out. Alright guys, so if you didn't know this, batteries are very interchangeable. Basically, every battery here except the 9 volts actually put out 1.5 volts. The only difference is how much charge they actually hold. So obviously D batteries hold a lot more electricity than C batteries and AA and then AAA and so on. But that means in a pinch, any battery in front right here, if it fits, we'll be able to replace each other and take the place of any other 1.5 volt battery. Now I know I just said 9 volts are obviously 9 volts and won't work with 1.5 volt electronics, but let me show you something. As you've probably seen me do in a few of my other videos, you can actually take off the casing of a 9 volt battery and get six smaller 1.5 volt batteries. And there we go, we're left with our six smaller 1.5 volt batteries. All right, just to show you guys how this works, basically I just loaded a couple of these cells we got from the inside of the nine volt um, into this housing uh, for a flashlight that normally takes triple A's. Um, and if you can see right here, these are quite a bit smaller than triple A's. Um, so you might have to wedge them in um, with foil or something uh, just to complete the gap if there is one. But uh, lucky for me, these springs were uh, tall enough so that they just barely stay in. Um, so yeah, now if we grab our flashlight, you can see there's nothing in there, um, and we put our homemade battery pack in, close it on up, and if we click the button, it turns on, just like that. And um, one other trick that kind of goes along with this is with a 12 volt battery. So basically we can do kind of the same thing, just take it apart. And inside, you can see we have all of these tiny little one and a half volt button cell batteries. And uh, you can see we have eight of them total uh, because eight times one and a half makes 12. Um, and this is super useful to do. Obviously, if you need button cells, you can get eight of them for the price of only one 12 volt battery. And uh, you don't have to waste your time buying each one individually for a marked up cost. And also if you like a lot of DIY stuff, like myself, which I'm assuming many of you do, um, these are great for projects where you have a limited space and you need to fit a battery. So yeah, I personally use this hack quite a bit and um, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. All right guys, so for this next hack, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool battery power pack. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys a hack where you can basically connect a nine volt to a car charger, plug in your cord and it'll charge your phone. And also said to let me know if you wanted me to show you how to make a more complete version of that gadget. And uh, I got a lot of comments asking me to do that, so that's what I'm gonna do.
So as you can see, now we are charging our phone off of two 9 volt batteries. Um, and one other thing I did was to add on two clothespins to the side of the battery. Um, this way the charger will clip onto my phone and I can continue using it just like I would normally. I mean, it is a little bit bulkier, but uh, if you're just sitting there and using your phone, you really don't notice it that much. And so for this last hack, I'm going to show you how to make a fire using your cell phone. Now this exact trick will only work if your cell phone has a removable battery, because that's what we're going to be using. So first what you want to do is find some way to cover up this middle terminal right here. Um, if you're in the wild, you could probably use this like sticker right here on the bottom of the phone or uh, whatever else you have on you, but I'm just going to use some electrical tape. Now if we grab a little bit of steel wool, we can actually get a spark to jump between these two terminals because these are the positive and the negative leads. Now if you are in the wild, if you have any sort of really fine wire um, like this that'll work, I don't know what your surroundings are going to be like, uh, or if you just want to keep like a tiny bit of steel wool like inside the phone case um, for survival situations, uh, the secret to getting this to work is rubbing the steel wool back and forth along the battery uh, because if you put it on, if you just attach it, you're really not going to get anything, um, so you actually have to... I'm going to turn the light off so you can see this a little bit easier. You can see we're getting some sparks there, um, but again if we just hold it on, like you'll get one maybe, but then it'll stop, um, so you have to keep rubbing it. Now to actually start the fire, what you want to do is find some very dry tinder and take the steel wool you have and wrap it around. Um, this way the sparks will ignite the tinder and it'll light. But since we're not in the wild, I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton wrapped around a match. Ideally you want to have the fibers going in one direction uh, because that'll connect to the terminals a lot easier. Let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, got a little bit of smoke there. For some reason it didn't ignite all the way. There's how to start a fire with your phone. Now if you're really in an emergency situation and um, your phone's not doing you any good otherwise, if you actually just puncture the lithium ion battery, it'll create a huge fire. Or if you have a Galaxy S7, it'll probably just catch fire on its own. Um, if you did like this video, click that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe for some more cool projects. And I've got a bunch of cool spy devices coming out soon, so I'd definitely be on the lookout for those. Um, so that's it for this video guys, and I will catch you in the next one.